Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to a little bit more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're gonna be playing a game with the one and only Zagara. Now Zagara is one of the heroes that I've played the very most in this game and she recently has undergone quite a couple of changes indeed. So since the last patch, all of a sudden you have all kinds of different options. Now what I'm gonna be focusing on right now on the Towers of Doom is going to be like a team fight focus build. Uh, if you're interested, I'll leave a, a full list of the talents that I will be picking in this particular video down below in the description of the video. Now long story short, you know when in the past, like before this patch, you would just play the same build every single time on Zagara. You would go like Reconstitution, then you go like Envenomed Spines, then you go like Endless Creep, or you know, most cases you would go uh, Rapid Regeneration and all that. They've basically overhauled the entire talent selection for the hero. First things first, we got the uh, we got the uh, the creep right. The creep tumors right here. First things first, don't cost any mana anymore. Secondly, they are now um, not giving Zagara any more health sustain, but they do give her additional uh, attack range. So I believe it's like a 20% increase or so in the attack range count, um, which really adds on rather quickly. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and shoo away those heroes. Looks like they've got the Viking on their teams, which, or on their team right now, which is fine. Uh, but um, you really do want to try and see if you can use your... Uh, your um, Creep Tumors on cooldown. I mean, I think that's gonna be the hallmark of a good Zagara player. She's gonna always have, you know, those Creep Tumors planted. Um, at the very least, you never really want to have them at three charges, right? That would just be a total waste. Now, apparently... Oh, come on. Did I really not get that? I suck. Secondly, uh, we got a, um, a pretty big change to, um, to uh, our self-sustain. So remember at, like, uh, you know, level one, we'd pick Reconstitution. At level two, we'd pick, like, the... Um, Either the Endless Creep, but more often than not the Rapid Regeneration. All those talents made it so much easier for this hero to um, sustain herself in lane, right? Right now, we don't get any self-healing, if, if I'm not mistaken, until level 13, which is a really, really big jump. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I back up more often. I'm gonna have to make sure that I, you know, drink from the fountains and whatnot more often as well. And all in all, I just gotta be a little bit smart about my maneuvering around. Because I just don't, you know, I don't stay alive for nearly as long as I used to. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind right here in the early stages of the game, particularly before level 13. She plays out quite a little bit differently. Now, as far as my other abilities go, first and foremost, I got my uh, my um, my Baneling Nest, or my not my Baneling Nest, rather, my Banelings that I roll forward. They're now actually rolled in individuals. They cost 10 mana each. I can have four of them active at any point, so I can have four of them out there any time. And um, the one thing to note about them is that they don't actually have a health pool anymore. So in the past... You would have a health pool on them and whatnot, and they would need to, uh, you know, they would need to uh, be targeted down if you wanted to get rid of them and all that shenanigans. Right now, that's not the case. They will now go off pretty much 100%, unless you, like, roll them off into the distance or something, and they don't technically go onto the map, but... <laughs> other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Secondly, um, to the Banelings, uh, to the Banelings calls, I guess, we get at level 7 a really powerful talent that makes them even more useful. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use those as soon as I can. Uh, and it basically allows my Banelings to slow down targets affected by it, which is super, super good. So right now, for example, I'm out of mana, no rapid regeneration. Well, I guess I normally would have, wouldn't have had it either, but I guess I'm just forced to back right now. Um, my W ability, my Hunter Killer, also known as the Hydralisk, I guess, Basically got changed up significantly as well. So in the past you would go for the double Hydralisk talents at level 13 and 16 or you go Mutalisk. Um, and what would happen is that you would basically be able to burst someone down from high HP to zero within just a matter of seconds. Well, that's no longer the case as at this point in the game, um, you're going to use it more of like a utility spell. It does still do a heck of a lot of damage, but the damage output in general has been decreased. So it's not going to deal nearly as much damage as it used to. And um, all in all... You're not going to be able to activate like two of them at once anymore either. At level 13, that's going to be the one skill that allows me to, uh, that allows me to, um, heal myself back up. Now, I think I'm just going to start pushing. I mean, oh no, maybe I shouldn't have. Now, I should be all right here. There's going to be a couple of heroes that will be rather annoying to me. I don't quite have my level 7 talent yet, but... I can still, by the way, uh, roll all of my bailings all at once, which is really cool. As you can see, like, I'm holding on just fine, right? As long as I'm on creep, things are gonna be A-OK, -okay, but this is gonna be the fish's asset. Now, I'll go over the talent decisions that I've made in just a second here, in case you're wondering. I will let you know the details about that, just a little bit. At my E talent, I guess my E ability hasn't changed nearly as much as some of the others. I need to get out. Oh, no. Loco, 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 no way! He's gonna die himself as well, though, so I guess, I guess it's an, a worthwhile trade. 
Probably could have stayed alive there if I didn't miss two of my main links. A little bit sloppy by me, which is, I guess, the one downside to, uh, to... Oh, wow, he, get, he got the kill there as well, so it's all fine. But, you know, it's, it's I guess, the one downside to having, uh, having um, you know, multiple main links rather than a single line of them. Uh, but all in all, it seems to be much better. E ability didn't get changed nearly as much, it seems like, as the other ones. Uh, um, I'm on my way right now. I'm hoping that... Hoping that we're gonna be capable to, capable of getting it. As far as the ultis go, they did both get a change. In particular, Ravenous Spirit right now is all of a sudden useful. It seems to be maybe even like a default pick in some scenarios. Which is not, you know, something that has been a case ever. Oh, come on. Don't die, Loco. I was gonna say. Like, sometimes you just have to commit, right? On the quick match ladder right now, there's very few, uh... Very few healers and tanks in general. And, um, well, at this point in the game... It looks like we're in a pretty dang good spot. Snipe! Woo! You're crazy. You're crazy. Anyway, they were obviously getting quite a little bit of extra, uh, you know, uh, experience here because of these little Viking dudes. Who are rather annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'll just let him get out. Top line is being completely possessed right now, although it looks like our Zero Tool is going over there. Anyway, as far as the talent selection goes, there's different kinds of builds. So right now I'm focusing on doing as much team damage here as possible and doing as much damage here in general as this hero is capable of. Um, and that's going to be my goal, right, in this particular game. Now, we may need some help here. But um, at this point in the game, um, or like at this point in the meta, it seems like you can either go for like a scouting type build or you can go for a build that focuses on team damage or you can go for a build that focuses on split pushing. And that's all possible because of the level 10 Nidus network. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and pick the Nidus network. I may very well uh, play a game in the future as well where I do indeed pick that talent. Um, but right now, I'm not going to focus on it just because I want to, you know, go for the team damage here instead. So I'm still going to pick the Devouring Mole. But in particular, the level 20 Endless Creep talent. Um, on uh, Devouring Mole is extremely helpful. Very, very, very good. Now, we did, uh, we did get level 10 of both of the teams right now. We are technically slightly ahead, but this is one of the maps where comebacks are easily doable. Okay. One of the maps that is, uh, you know, easily comebackable, I guess. We are focusing, like I said, on um, on dealing as much hero damage here as possible. At the very least, you know, I will always do a lot of uh, I will always do a lot of hero damage no matter what. But we're just sort of picking talents that, you know, support that kind of play style. Now I want to stay on creep for as much as I can, but the cooldown on the creep is rather long. Got to be careful here. I do have my uh, my ultimate ready to go, so I want to stay alive here for as long as I can. Oh man, oh man. I am caught with my pants down here. Tried to keep my teammate alive, we both died. <laughs> I was a little bit too far forward, blocked myself out of my own movement, I guess, with that ulti. And all in all, well, they did walk all into the stasis. All in all, um, this was definitely a, a trade in their favor, and they may very well be able to come back right now. Uh, or at the very least, you know, start a comeback. They're only gonna get a couple hits off, but I don't think they're gonna be capable of getting any of the extra towers or whatever. But that wasn't too amazing. Um, anyhow, we are focusing right now on a talent build that is focused on damage, right? Let's say hi to the team. Apparently, uh, Loco from YouTube. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so at level 1, I picked the Corpse Feeders talent. The Corpse Feeders talent allows me to use my E ability a lot more often. And right now, um, it just is a stronger talent. Like, you remember in the past, it would all only get, uh, like, damage reduction from uh, heroic sources and all that. Right now, they increase that damage reduction. Oh, man. Oh, don't die. They would, um, you know, they, they right now basically have just increased that talent significantly as it right now also increases or reduces the cooldown of the ability a lot. Which just helps out a ton and just makes the roaches more powerful. We're just gonna be careful of not spamming it too much as you do run out of mana rather easily if you use it on cooldown. He likes my Stark of 2 movies, nice. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, at level 4 I picked a new talent called Serrated Spines. So, and no more Envenomed Spine, no more of that shenanigans. Those Vikings are doing a lot of work. Um, if you have a good Vikings player, it's so scary. But the Envenomed Spines, or the Serrated Spines, rather, increases the amount of uh, basic attack damage that I can do. So, I picked it, and it's, it basically just inc it starts a quest up whenever I do a heroic um, uh, basic attack to any, any enemy heroes. I'm going to be capable of... Um, oh, man. 
I'm gonna be capable of um Man, the Vikings are going wild here. I'm gonna be capable at that point of uh, murdering. Oh, what? I was just, oh, no way. I just wanted to alt them. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm gonna be capable of dealing more damage over time. So basically my uh, my uh, attacks will just become more powerful. And uh, overall, like my basic attack damage will just increase for every basic attack damage that I will do. My other basic attack damage as a follow-up will permanently increase the damage. Now, it looks like I'm gonna have to ward away a couple of these guys here. It's kind of unfortunate for us, because I'm not there. We do finally have our Hydralisk Transfusion, by the way, which is good. But it looks like we got the Alter Shorts off anyway, so... Um, advantage for us. I haven't been spreading as much creep here lately. That's not good. We'll creep up this entire area. So obviously if there's a fight happening, that makes things way easier. Still gotta back up, but you can see like the range increase is pretty significant. Oh no. Don't die, Loco. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, what? Ah! Oh. I did a lot of damage there, though. I did a heck of a lot of work, but it looks like we didn't really have the targets necessary or like the, the focus necessary. Although, well, well, well. It looks like that fight turned around after they overextended a little bit. Anyway, right now at level 13, my Hunter Killer, like my Hydro Disc thingy that I show out on the map. Um, it increases, uh, basically, when it does damage to heroes, it does additional healing to me. So this is gonna be like my self-sustained damage, or like my self-sustained uh, in fight. Uh, I can use that uh, to, you know, practically win all duels in the game, I guess. Which is rather helpful. At, um, at level 16, we're gonna go ahead and pick the, uh, pick the Corrosive Saliva, which is also a new talent. And that one is sort of like, um, sort of like Giant Killer, because Giant Killer at level 13 has disappeared. It doesn't exist anymore at this point. Um, and Giant Killer, um, you know, obviously deals additional damage depending on the amount of H, like a percentage based on the HP that an enemy has. Uh, right now we can add that to the Corrosive Saliva, or with the Corrosive Saliva talent, to our Hydralisk, which will obviously work really together, or really nicely together, with our level 13 talent here. Now... Oh, this is good. What? How did she even... Well, that seems that seems kind of well, unnecessary. Oh, what? No, the fear is so strong. The fear on guy. Oh my god. Oh, the fear is so extremely powerful on Gul'dan. In all of the games that I've played so far today, that fear has been absolutely game changing. Because everyone currently is playing Gul'dan, obviously, as he's now available in the actual game. But it's just so dang strong. Like, oh my god. I hope you have a blink, dude. There you go. You didn't blink in. No wormhole shenanigans. Oh no. It's uh. Well done, well done, but they did manage to get a couple of hits off and at this point while we technically are still ahead as far as the amount of uh, You know HP our core got is not looking too amazing for us anymore General consensus though of Zargara so far. I really enjoy playing her like she's really fun I've played a build where I focused mostly on creep spread and I focused on uh, on the on the um, on the uh, Nidus network, which is something I always really liked, right? Like, you can split push like crazy with it. Just put up the Nidus network, uh, go for the Medusa Blade and whatnot, and you can do so much split damage, or split push damage, and then get back into the, like, the fight real quickly. No way! Man, oh man. They don't want to be here now, do they? Okay, my Hydra's out, but... Whew. I almost got nuked down, though. I don't think they changed much about the Hunter or anything, but... It seems to be a lot more common. Or I don't think they changed anything about Metamorphosis either. Which is one of those talents, I guess, that has sort of like a stylistic choice. Because a lot of, uh, a lot of Illidan players are currently opting to get it. So, my ultimate, by the way, now does uh, more damage over time. But less impact damage. So it always used to do impact damage as well as damage over time. Right now it only does, you know, the damage over time aspect of that. Which is good. Good. Very good. So this was actually a good timing for us as well. Because we're going to probably be able to get both of these things. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, what? Crazy. So they 
I didn't think they were all hanging out over here. Someone need to capture, like... Oh, no way. Someone need to capture mid. Oh, no way, dude. <laughs> Crazy. That was actually a really unfortunate fight for, for the opponents, really. To be completely honest with you, that was not a good fight for them. Technically speaking, we were far ahead there, but... As far as the fight goes, that is. Like, we just had more heroes out. Oh! He left me? Why did he leave me? He could have continued onwards on me, for sure. Woo! I gotta get stay- I gotta stay into this, though. I got to stay into this. Okay. Good. Good. This is not game over yet. The Vikings obviously become less powerful over time, generally speaking. But I thought we had more heroes up when that uh, that push at the bottom was done, right? And they still managed to grab it because they set up a really nice trap. Okay. We are, by the way, once again, a level up, so this is great. Definitely one of the better games that I've played so far on the quick match ladder when it's like all damage dealer versus all damage dealer. Or, or you know, rather, lack of support and tanks versus lack of support of tanks. At the very least, we got a healer now, right? So I guess that isn't entirely true, but... None of us want to go in because we don't have a tank. We're all waiting for the tank. Okay. So I can't really roll my Banes in nearly as nicely anymore. But I think we got him. There we go. Very nice. You can imagine my LT is still rather useful. Nice! Beautiful. Beautiful moves. We're going to be able to take out this tower. I'm going to go. Oh, come on, guys. No? Well, lucky my Banelings can't get killed anymore. I'm gonna pick the Fury of the Storm here. No more Bolt. No more Bolt of the Storm, which is unfortunate. Because that did uh, that did make things way easier. But, uh... This, uh, this one, um... This one obviously works out really nicely as well, the Fury of the Storm here. With my, um... With my, um... You know, I may have to just back. It, it works out really well with my level 4 talent here, the serrated spines. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make sure we stay together, I think. Although, well, it's fine now. But after this... Really? Okay, top uh, or bottom definitely should be ours. I want to do a big fight here in the middle? We'll take it. We'll take it. Every single time. The splash damage against the Vikings. Sure, I'll take it. It looks like uh, we actually managed to get both of them, which is super good. Once again, did get the haunt on me. This time around, though, I haunted in the correct direction. Oh, what? Got him, boys. Let's set up the body block. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the boss now. We should pick up the victory. Like I said earlier... Um, like I said earlier, if you're interested in checking out the build that I have been going for in this video, definitely have a look at the, um, you know, description of this video. And other than that, this should be game over right now. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I want to thank you all very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!